Reliance Industries Limited is an Indian conglomerate holding company headquartered in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Reliance owns businesses across India engaged in energy, petrochemicals, textiles, natural resources, retail, and telecommunications. Reliance is one of the most profitable companies in India, the largest publicly traded company in India by market capitalization, and the second largest company in India as measured by revenue after the government-controlled Indian Oil Corporation. On 18 October 2007, Reliance Industries became the first Indian company to breach $100 billion market capitalization. The company is ranked 203rd on the Fortune Global 500 list of the world's biggest corporations as of 2017. It is ranked 8th among the top 250 global energy companies by Platts as of 2016. Reliance continues to be India's largest exporter, accounting for 8% of India's total merchandise exports with a value of 147,755 crore rupees and access to markets in 108 countries. Reliance is responsible for almost 5% of the Government of India's total revenues from customs and excise duty. It is also the highest income tax payer in the private sector in India. History 1960–1980 The company was co-founded by Dhirubhai Ambani and Champakal Damani in 1960s as Reliance Commercial Corporation. In 1965, the partnership ended and Dhirubhai continued the polyester business of the firm. In 1966, Reliance Textiles Industries Private Limited was incorporated in Maharashtra. It established a synthetic fabrics mill in the same year at Naroda in Gujarat. In 1975, the company expanded its business into textiles, with Vimal becoming its major brand in later years. The company held its initial public offering IPO in 1977. The issue was oversubscribed by seven times. In 1979, a textiles company Sidpa Mills was amalgamated with the company. In 1980, the company expanded its polyester yarn business by setting up a polyester filament yarn plant in Patalganga, Raigad, Maharashtra with financial and technical collaboration with E.I. DuPont de Nemours & Co., U.S. 1981–2000In 1985, the name of the company was changed from Reliance Textiles Industries Limited to Reliance Industries Limited. During the years 1985–1992, the company expanded its installed capacity for producing polyester yarn by over 145,000 tons per annum. The Hazira Petrochemical Plant was commissioned in 1991–92. In 1993, Reliance turned to the overseas capital markets for funds through a global depository issue of Reliance Petroleum. In 1996, it became the first private sector company in India to be rated by international credit rating agencies. S&P rated Reliance BB+, stable outlook, constrained by the sovereign ceiling. Moody's rated Bar 3, investment grade, constrained by the sovereign ceiling. In 1995-96, the company entered the telecom industry through a joint venture with NYNEX, USA, and promoted Reliance Telecom Private Limited in India. In 1998-99, RIL introduced packaged LPG in 15 kg cylinders under the brand name Reliance Gas. 
The years 1998–2000 saw the construction of the integrated petrochemical complex at Jamnagar in Gujarat, the largest refinery in the world. Topic 2001 onwards. In 2001, Reliance Industries Limited and Reliance Petroleum Limited became India's two largest companies in terms of all major financial parameters. In 2001-02, Reliance Petroleum was merged with Reliance Industries. In 2002, Reliance announced India's biggest gas discovery at the Krishna Godavari Basin in nearly three decades and one of the largest gas discoveries in the world during 2002. The in-place volume of natural gas was in excess of 7 trillion cubic feet, equivalent to about 1.2 billion barrels of crude oil. This was the first ever discovery by an Indian private sector company. In 2002 03, RIL purchased a majority stake in Indian Petrochemicals Corporation Limited, India's second largest petrochemicals company, from the Government of India. IPCL was later merged with RIL in 2008. In 2005 and 2006, the company reorganized its business by demerging its investments in power generation and distribution, financial services, and telecommunication services into four separate entities. In 2006, Reliance entered the organized retail market in India with the launch of its retail. Retail store format under the brand name of Reliance Fresh. By the end of 2008, Reliance Retail had close to 600 stores across 57 cities in India. In November 2009, Reliance Industries issued one to one bonus shares to its shareholders. In 2010, Reliance entered the broadband services market with acquisition of Infotel Broadband Services Limited, which was the only successful bidder for Pan India Fourth Generation 4G Spectrum auction held by the Government of India. In the same year, Reliance and BP announced a partnership in the oil and gas business. BP took a 30% stake in 23 oil and gas production sharing contracts that Reliance operates in India, including the KGD6 block for $7.2 billion. Reliance also formed a 50-50 joint venture with BP for sourcing and marketing of gas in India. In 2017, RIL set up a joint venture with Russian company Sibba for setting up a butyl rubber plant in Jamnagar, Gujarat, to be operational by 2018. Topic: <laughs> Shareholding. The number of shares of RIL are approximately 3.1 billion. The promoter group, Ambani Family, holds approximately 46.32% of the total shares whereas the remaining 53.68% shares are held by public shareholders, including FII and corporate bodies. Life Insurance Corporation of India is the largest non-promoter investor in the company with 7.98% shareholding in January 2012 the company announced a buyback program to buy a maximum of 120 million shares for 104 billion rupees 1.4 billion dollars by the end of January 2013, the company had bought back 46.2 million shares for 33.66 billion rupees, 470 million dollars. Topic listing the company's equity shares are listed on the National Stock Exchange of India Limited (NSE) and the BSE Limited. The Global Depository Receipts GDRs issued by the company are listed on Luxembourg Stock Exchange. 
it has issued approximately 56 million GDRs wherein each GDR is equivalent to two equity shares of the company. Approximately 3.46% of its total shares are listed on Luxembourg Stock Exchange, its debt securities are listed at the Wholesale Debt Market segment of the National Stock Exchange of India Limited it has received domestic credit ratings of AAA from CRISIL S&P subsidiary and Fitch. Moody's and S&P have provided investment grade ratings for international debt of the company as bar 2 positive outlook local currency issuer rating and BBB plus outlook respectively. On the 28th of December 2017, RIL announced that it will be acquiring the wireless assets of Anil Ambani led Reliance Communications for about 23000 crore rupees. Topic operations The company's petrochemical, refining, oil and gas related operations form the core of its business. Other divisions of the company include cloth, retail business, telecommunications and special economic zone (SEZ) development. In 2012–13, it earned 76% of its revenue from refining, 19% from petrochemicals, 2% from oil and gas, and 3% from other segments. In July 2012, RIL informed that it was going to invest $1 billion over the next few years in its new aerospace division, which will design, develop, manufacture, equipment and components, including aircraft aircraft, engine, radars, avionics and accessories for military and civilian aircraft, helicopters, unmanned airborne vehicles and aerostats. <laughs> Major subsidiaries and associates On 31 March 2013, the company had 123 subsidiary companies and 10 associate companies. Reliance Retail is the retail business wing of the Reliance Industries. In March 2013, it had 1466 stores in India. It is the largest retailer in India. Many brands like Reliance Fresh, Reliance Footprint, Reliance Time Out, Reliance Digital, Reliance Wellness, Reliance Trends, Reliance AutoZone, Reliance Super, Reliance Mart, Reliance Istore, Reliance Home Kitchens, Reliance Market Cash and, Carry, and Reliance Jewel come under the Reliance Retail brand. Its annual revenue for the financial year 2012-13 was 108 billion rupees, 1.5 billion dollars with an EBITDA of 780 million rupees, 11 million dollars. Reliance Life Sciences works around medical, plant and industrial biotechnology opportunities. It specializes in manufacturing, branding, and marketing Reliance Industries products in biopharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals, clinical research services, regenerative medicine, molecular medicine, novel therapeutics, biofuels, plant biotechnology, and industrial biotechnology sectors of the medical business industry. Reliance Institute of Life Sciences RILS, established by Dhirubhai Ambani Foundation, is an institution offering higher education in various fields of life sciences and related technologies. Reliance Logistics is a single window company selling transportation, distribution, warehousing, logistics, and supply chain related products, supported by in house telematics and telemetry solutions. Reliance Logistics is an asset based company with its own fleet and infrastructure. It provides logistics services to Reliance Group companies and outsiders. Merged content from Reliance Logistics to here. 
See Talk, Reliance Industries, Archives, 2013 Hashtag Merge Proposals Reliance Clinical Research Services RCRS, a contract research organization and wholly owned subsidiary of Reliance Life Sciences, specializes in the clinical research services industry. Its clients are primarily pharmaceutical, biotechnology and medical device companies. Reliance Solar, the solar energy subsidiary of Reliance, was established to produce and retail solar energy systems primarily to remote and rural areas. It offers a range of products based on solar energy, solar lanterns, home lighting systems, street lighting systems, water purification systems, refrigeration systems and solar air conditioners. Merged content from Reliance Solar to here. See Talk, Reliance Industries, Archives, 2013 Hashtag Merge Proposals Relicord is a cord blood banking service owned by Reliance Life Sciences. It was established in 2002. It has been inspected and accredited by AABB, and also has been accorded a license by Food and Drug Administration FDA, Government of India. Reliance Geo Infocom Limited RJIL, previously known as Infotel Broadband, is a broadband service provider which gained 4G licenses for operating across India. Reliance Industrial Infrastructure Limited RIIL, is an associate company of RIL. RIL holds 45.43% of total shares of RIIL. It was incorporated in September 1988 as Chembur Patalganga Pipelines Limited, with the main objective being to build and operate cross country pipelines for transporting petroleum products. The company's name was subsequently changed to CPPL Limited in September 1992, and thereafter to its present name, Reliance Industrial Infrastructure Limited, in March 1994. RIIL is mainly engaged in the business of setting up and operating industrial infrastructure. The company is also engaged in related activities involving leasing and providing services connected with computer software and data processing. The company set up a 200 mm diameter twin pipeline system that connects the Bharat Petroleum Refinery at Mahal, Maharashtra, to Reliance's petrochemical complex at Patalganga, Maharashtra. The pipeline carries petroleum products including naphtha and kerosene. It has commissioned facilities like the Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System and the Cathodic Protection System, a jackwell at River Tapi, and a raw water pipeline system at Hazira. The infrastructure company constructed a 71,000 kilo-liter petrochemical product storage and distribution terminal at the Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust (JNPT) area in Maharashtra. LYF, a 4G-enabled Volta device brand from Reliance Retail. Network 18, a mass media company. It has interests in television, digital platforms, publication, mobile apps, and films. It also operates two joint ventures, namely Viacom 18 and History TV 18 with Viacom and A plus E networks respectively. It also have acquired ETV Network and since renamed its channels under the Colors TV brand. Reliance Eros Productions LLP, joint venture with Eros International. Employees 
As on 31 March 2013, the company had 23,519 employees of which 1,159 were women and 83 were employees with disabilities. It also had 29,462 temporary employees on the same date. As per its sustainability report for 2011-12, the attrition rate was 7.5%. But currently, the same attrition rate has gone up to 23.4% in 2015 as per latest report released by the organization. In its 39th annual general meeting, its chairman informed the shareholders of the investment plans of the company of about 1500 billion rupees, 21 billion dollars in the next 3 years. This would be accompanied by increasing the staff strength in retail division from existing strength of 35,000 to 120,000 in next three years and increasing employees in telecom division from existing 3,000 to 10,000 in 12 months. Topic awards and recognition International Refiner of the Year in 2017 at Global Refining and Petrochemicals Congress 2017 International Refiner of the Year in 2013 at the Heart Energy's 27th World Refining and Fuel Conference this is the second time that RIL has received this award for its Jamnagar refinery the first being in 2005 According to survey conducted by Brand Finance in 2013, Reliance is the second most valuable brand in India. The Brand Trust report ranked Reliance Industries as the seventh most trusted brand in India in 2013 and ninth in 2014. RIL was certified as Responsible Care Company by the American Chemistry Council in March 2012. RIL was ranked at 25th position across the world, on the basis of sales, in the ICIS Top 100 Chemicals Companies list in 2012. RIL was awarded the National Golden Peacock Award 2011 for its contribution in the field of corporate sustainability. In 2009, Boston Consulting Group BCG named Reliance Industries as the world's fifth biggest sustainable value creator in a list of 25 top companies globally in terms of investor returns over a decade. The company was selected as one of the world's 100 best managed companies for the year 2000 by IndustryWeek magazine. From 1994 to 1997, the company won National Energy Conservation Award in the petrochemical sector. Topic: Controversies. Topic: the merger of RIL in 2005–2006 The Ambani family holds around 45% of the shares in RIL. Since its inception, the company was managed by its founder and chairman Dhirubhai Ambani. After suffering a heart attack in 1986, he handed over the daily operations of the company to his sons Makesh Ambani and Anil Ambani. After the death of Dhirubhai Ambani in 2002, the management of the company was taken up by both the brothers. In November 2004, Makesh Ambani, in an interview, admitted to having differences with his brother Anil over ownership issues. He also said that the differences are in the private domain. The share prices of RIL were impacted by some margin when this news broke out. 
In 2005, after a bitter public feud between the brothers over the control of the Reliance Empire, Mother Kokolaban intervened to broker a deal splitting the RIL Group business into the two parts. In October 2005, the split of Reliance Group was formalized. Makesh Ambani got Reliance Industries and IPCL. Younger brother Anil Ambani received telecom, power, entertainment and financial services business of the group. The Anil Dhirubhai Ambani Group includes Reliance Communications, Reliance Infrastructure, Reliance Capital, Reliance Natural Resources, and Reliance Power. The division of Reliance Group business between the two brothers also resulted in demerger of four businesses from RIL. These businesses immediately became part of Anil Dhirubhai Ambani Group. The existing shareholders in RIL, both the promoter group and non-promoters, received shares in the demerged companies. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Relationship with ONGC. In May 2014, ONGC moved to Delhi High Court accusing RIL of pilferage of 18 billion cubic meters of gas from its gas producing block in the Krishna Godavari Basin. Subsequently, the two companies agreed to form an independent expert panel to probe any pilferage. Topic Scams Seminar Magazine 2003 detailed Reliance founder Dhirubhai Ambani's proximity to politicians, his enmity with Bombay Dying's Nusli Wadia, the exposes by the Indian Express and Aaron Shori about illegal imports by the company and overseas share transactions by shell companies, and the botched attempt to acquire Larson and Tubro, as early as 1996. Outlook magazine addressed other controversies related to fake and switched shares, insider trading, and a nexus with the state-owned Unit Trust of India. Five main allegations concerning reliance, and which have plunged the Indian capital markets into a period of uncertainty unsurpassed since the days of the securities scam were, reliance issued fake shares. It switched shares sent for transfer by buyers to make illegal profits. It has indulged in insider trading in shares. It established a nexus with the Unit Trust of India to raise huge sums of money to the detriment of UTI subscribers. It attempted to monopolize the private telecom services market through front companies. Topic: Insider trading. Stock market fraud regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India (SEBI) issued a show cause notice to Reliance Industries Limited following a probe into alleged insider trading in Reliance Petroleum Limited (RPL) shares in November 2007. SEBI probed transactions by entities that participated in and led to some three months of speculative rally after which the RPL stock surged to an all-time intraday high of Rs 295.00 on 1 November 2007. In a separate and independent investigation related to the same issue, the Income Tax IT Department looked at possible tax evasion by a dozen entities that Makesh Ambani owned RIL acknowledged to be its agents. In January 2011, SEBI barred Anil Ambani and four other officials of Reliance Group until recently known as the Reliance Anil Dhirubhai Ambani Group. R. Adag, companies from investing in listed shares until December 2011. Two group firms, Reliance Infrastructure Limited and Reliance Natural Resources Limited were barred from making such investment until December 2012. 
According to SEBI's investigations, R. Infra and R. N. R. L. were prima facie responsible for misrepresenting the nature of investments in yield management certificates, deposits, and the profits and losses in their annual reports for the fiscal years 2007, 2008 and 2009. It also found misuse of FII regulations. The then Minister of State for Finance Namo Narain Mina, on 1 December 2009, in a written response to a query raised in the Upper House of Parliament, said that three firms of R. Adag R. Infra, R. Nrl, and R. Com had violated overseas debt norms. These end use violations were observed by the Reserve Bank of India RBI regarding two ECB transactions of $360 million and $150 million by R Infra in another case SEBI settled a dispute with Reliance Securities Limited RSL with a consent order on June 2011 under which the brokerage will spend 1 crore rupees within 6 months on investor education and not add any new clients for 45 days starting the 15th of June in the settlement, it was also added that the brokerage will also pay 25 lakh rupees towards settlement charges. This order followed a SEBI investigation into RSL's books and accounts for fiscal 2007 and fiscal 2008, which said that it had allegedly violated various clauses of SEBI stock brokers and sub brokers regulations. The SEBI inquiry cited 20 irregularities, including the brokerage not informing clients about various charges at the time of opening accounts. RSL sought power of attorney in the name of Reliance Commodities Limited from clients and used this to debit clients' bank accounts, purchase and sell post office deposits and Government of India bonds among other transactions. Brokerage, not fully equipped to handle its customer base at the time, used the name Reliance Money at all its offices and on employee visiting cards, instead of Reliance Securities, which was the registered trading member, leading to confusion. Brokerage was found to have received funds from other client bank accounts other than the ones available to it, thus failing to have a sound third-party check on the receipt of payments. RSL had failed to update client details despite the stock exchanges pointing this out in their inspection reports. The SEBI inquiry also said RSL collected higher securities transaction tax from its clients in 2006 to 2008, allotted more than one terminal in the same segment for a single user, and also collected checks in the name of Reliance Money. Brokerage also did not maintain clear segregation between broking and other activities of group companies. Further, there were frequent disruptions in the brokerage's trading platform, which showed connectivity problems at the applicant's end. Topic: 2G spectrum. In the 2G spectrum case, Reliance Telecom was charged with criminal conspiracy to cause criminal breach of trust by a public servant, criminal conspiracy under section 120B, cheating under section 420 and forgery under sections 468 and 471. Reliance Telecom was booked under the Prevention of Corruption Act, 1988. Additionally, individual charges were filed against three of Reliance Group's corporate executives, Gautam Doshi, Surendra Pipara and Hari Nair, which resulted in their arrests. NICL. 
The Central Bureau of Investigation CBI filed a charge sheet in a Mumbai court against Reliance Industries Limited RIL and four retired employees of National Insurance Company Limited NICL including a former CMD under provisions of the Prevention of Corruption Act for criminal conspiracy and other charges. Acting on a reference from CVC in March, 2005, the CBI started probing the conspiracy that led to the filing of the charge sheet on December 9, 2011. The 2005 complaint had alleged irregularities in issuance of insurance policies—for coverage of default payments—by NICL to RIL. Charge sheet also mentioned criminal offences with dishonest intention and causing wrongful loss totaling 147.41 crore rupees to NICL and wrongful gain to the private telecom provider. Two retired senior officials of National Insurance Company Limited and eleven others were awarded varying jail terms by a Delhi court in January 2014. Topic: RIL plane grounded. A business jet owned by Reliance Industries (RIL) was grounded by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation (DGCA) on the 22nd of March 2014 during a surprise inspection for carrying expired safety equipment on board. Its pilot was also suspended for flying without a license. Topic ONGC controversy. In May 2014, ONGC moved to Delhi High Court accusing RIL of pilferage of 18 billion cubic meters from its gas-producing block in the Krishna Godavari Basin. Subsequently, the two companies agreed to form an independent expert panel to probe any pilferage. Topic: Krishna Godavari (KG) Basin Gas. The Reliance Industries Limited (RIL) was supposed to relinquish 25% of the total area outside the discoveries in 2004 and 2005, as per the production sharing contract (PSC). However, the entire block was declared as a discovery area and RIL was allowed to retain it. In 2011, the Controller and Auditor General of India criticised the Oil Ministry for this decision. The CAG also faulted RIL for limiting the competition in contracts, stating that RIL awarded a $1.1 billion contract to ACCA on a single bid basis. Petition against Reliance Geo A pill filed in the Supreme Court by an NGO Center for Public Interest Litigation, through Prashant Bhushan, challenged the grant of Pan-India license to RJIL by the Government of India. The pill alleged that RJIL was allowed to provide voice telephony along with its 4G data service, by paying an additional fees of just 16,580 million Indian rupees $280 million arbitrary and unreasonable, and contributed to a loss of 228,420 million Indian rupees $3.8 billion to the Exchequer, the CAG in its draft report alleged rigging of the auction mechanism, whereby an unknown ISP, Infotel Broadband Services Private Limited, acquired the spectrum by bidding 5,000 times its net worth, after which the company was sold to Reliance Industries. See also 
List of companies of India Make in India Jamnagar Refinery Geo <laughs>